In this problem, it says a modified roulette wheel has 40 slots. One slot is zero, one is zero, zero, and the others are one through 38. You are placing a bet that the outcome is an even number. And we want to start off with finding the probability of winning. So if we look at the possible results, zero, 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 and neither of those are considered even. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm not going to list them all. Uh, let's see, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. So the results in our favor, because we bet on getting an even number, are the 2, the 4, the 6, all the way up to 38. So how do I determine how many numbers are favorable? I can just count them, because there's not too many. It would take a minute. But I can also look at the numbers, since they're even numbers. If I divide each of these numbers by 2, then 2 divided by 2 gives me 1, 4 divided by 2 gives me 2, and then 3. And so this is counting the number of even numbers. So 34 would be 17, 36 would be 18, and 38 would be 19. So that tells me that the probability of winning is 19 over 40. So that's my final answer for part A. Now in part B, it says, what are the actual odds against winning? So for the odds against winning, what I'm going to do is say, how many ways could I get um, a number that would make me lose because it's against winning. So we want to put number of ways to lose first. And then we put our colon and we put the number of ways to win. Now we know that the number of ways to win is 19 because we just counted those. And since there's 40 outcomes, then I just subtract 19 from 40 and I get 21. So that's my odds against winning. If I wanted the odds in favor of winning, I would put the 19 first and then the 21. In C, it says, when you bet that the outcome is an even number, the payoff odds are one to one. So with the payoff odds, what we're talking about here is if our odds are, let's say, A to B, then A is the amount that you are paid if you bet the amount in Part B. So in Part C, it says, when you bet that the outcome is an even number, the payoff odds are one to one. How much profit do you make if you bet $17 and win? So what we're saying with these payoff odds of one to one is if you bet $1, you get paid $1. But we're going to bet $17, so I make this a proportion, then how much would you receive? Well, these two fractions have to be equal, so you have to get $17.
And finally, in part D, it says, how much profit should you make on the $17 bet if you convince the casino to change its payoff odds so that they are the same as the actual odds against winning? Okay, so we know the payoff odds are A to B, where A is the amount paid and B is the amount bet. So we're going to turn that into 21 over 19. And we're betting $17 now. Well, still since the last part, but so that is the same. The $17 is the same, but the proportion of the payoff odds or the ratio of the payoff odds is changed now. So the question is, how much would you get if you're betting $17? And I'm going to multiply both sides by 17 and solve for x. So in my calculator, I just type in 17 times 21 and divide by 19, and I get $18.79. It's like 1878.9 something. So it's 1879 rounded to the nearest cent. And that's how you do that problem.